We first started Loch Shearer at the beginning of April 2009. Descending down the muddy banks, our initial glimpse of the Pachycerianthus multiplicatus or firework anemones were at 18 metres. Going deeper, they were rather prolific at 25 metres, and although dark at this depth, the water was very clear. My strobes failed early on in the dive, and thus I was reliant on my buddy's torch, who it has to be said had a very steady hand. When approached, the long fine outer tentacle curled up into tight corkscrews, allowing us to clearly see the inner labial tentacles which surround the mouth. Some were tidier than others, resulting in the appearance of a bad hair day. We returned almost two months later at the end of May. The water had warmed up by about one degree, but a plankton bloom was apparent. Large blobs of algal growth reduced the visibility. This time we did two dives. On the first, many of the firework anemones were curled up. A local diver noted that there had been some dredging in the lock earlier that day. Many of the anemones had squat lobsters associated with them. It was thought that this was a mutualistic relationship. The anemones gave shelter and camouflage to the squat lobsters, and the squatty provides some food for the anemone as he tears it up. The anemones were either white or white with brown bands. These banded specimens seem to have finer tentacles. The tall column burrows to about a metre underneath the seabed with roughly only 30 centimetres exposed. Edging deeper to 32 metres, we were still finding magnificent specimens. Unfortunately, I ran out of bottom time, and this was the final firework. What a cracker! <laughs> <laughs>